The Raiden series has been around for about two decades now, and this is Raiden 4 on the Xbox 360. Glad to see a North American release for this. Traditionally, we get screwed out of Japanese shooters, so it's cool to see anything come over here, especially when it's a big-name franchise and a quality game like Raiden 4. Now, they just need to work on some other series like the Thunder Force games and Robo Alest, but let's move on to Raiden 4. The presentation is outstanding. It is every bit as good as you want it to be. I'm making an assumption, but I'm going to assume that you want high-quality visuals, high-definition graphics, and awesome sound as well as an easy-to-navigate menu structure, global leaderboards, and extremely smooth gameplay. If that's what you want, this game has it. It's got lots of explodey things, too. Just look at these tanks parked on the left there. I hope they were insured. Raiden 4 is extremely similar to the excellent Raiden 3, but the PS2 even struggled with some of these really busy wild shooters. Raiden 4 is way smoother than Raiden 3. The Xbox 360 doesn't seem to skip a beat when playing shooters like this, or the Raiden Fighter Aces game. Very smooth gameplay, 99% of the time no slowdown or jerkiness whatsoever. Raiden 4 is an extremely challenging game, which is all the harder for me right now because I wanted to get this review up while the game was new, but I just came off a week playing Gigawing on the Sega Dreamcast for my review of that title. And the gameplay style required for Gigawing is the complete opposite than I would use for Raiden 4. Gigawing and many games like that reward you for being as aggressive as possible and pushing bullets back into the enemies and playing like a madman. Raiden 4 rewards you for patience, which I find extremely difficult. You, you need to play this game in a very reserved style. Moving around the screen wildly will get you killed. It's amazing how many bullets will miss you if you remain stationary or if you guide your ship in tiny little movements. Once you start flying back and forth and running into things, it's it's over, at least for me. Once I once I lose composure in the game, I just, it just the whole thing just goes to hell. It's hard to notice them when you're playing, but check out the backgrounds in this game. Very subtle yet extremely well done. Not to mention the music fits the game perfectly as well recorded, sounds great. I love the synthesizers. Like most shooters, there's several different ways that you can rack up points and practically unlimited approaches to each level. There's three primary weapons, actually four primary weapons in this game to choose from, and you can download two additional spaceships from Xbox Live Arcade. The game comes with one ship, you can download two extra ones for a buck each or something, it's not very much. It's a bit of a shock after playing Raiden Fighter Aces, which comes with a huge array of ships to play with. But Raiden 4 is a different game, and your plane moves very slowly, which is actually perfect for those short, controlled movements. You'll notice as I keep playing, I haven't memorized where things are coming from quite as well. I'll start flying around more, more out of control, which is just going to wipe me out. You must play this game with control. Just imagine Yoda yelling at you.
insert shouting, screaming expletives and the Xbox controller about to be thrown across the room until I remember how much it costs. See, that was the good thing about those Genesis controllers. You could just hurl those at brick walls. They'd bounce right back and then you'd play better. I can get a bit obsessive compulsive with this game, so I, I can only play it in short bursts. This is an Xbox 360 exclusive. You do get achievement points with it and one of my favorite features, global leaderboards, where you can not only see who's, who's scored six trillion points, but also frequently watch replays of their gameplay so that you can check out some of their tricks. There's, there's things that some of these guys come up with, or girls, or robots, that don't mean to discriminate, that you may never have thought of. Just little strategies or a place to hover on screen or hide behind an end boss or something. I don't know how some of you find the time to get that good at these games. I'm playing on the normal setting here, and I've got a ways to go and definitely a lot of gameplay ahead of me. I need to memorize the second and third level before I can really hit the fourth one with any kind of consistency. For those of you who are not that familiar with shooting games like this, who will get blown out of the air in the normal or arcade difficulty mode, and there's two higher than that even, there is a practice mode in the game, a very easy and an easy setting. I'll show you some of the easy at the end. The easy actually isn't all that much different than normal. But uh, once, you, once you just figure out that you really don't want to move wildly all over the place in this game, you'll start to get the hang of it. Also, check out some of those videos online from the really good players. Don't, don't learn from me, whatever you do. I think the only game I'm good at is Peggle. I'm selling myself short. I'm good at the Gran Turismo games and Ms. Pac-Man, the arcade machine as well. Not only are these shmups or shoot 'em ups some of the best games being released, but they're also some of the best values because they're not as popular as first person shooters and they tend to not cost as much either while providing you hours and hours of gameplay and unlimited replay value because you're challenging yourself, you can play with a friend in two-player co-op, and play for global leaderboard superiority. Again, with the expletives and controller throwing, you can record replays of your games, and that's what we're watching here. You can also continue numerous times if you just want to play through the game, although it doesn't add that score onto your previous score. Raiden 4 is out of this world. <laughs> I just thought of that. Because the spaceship just left the... Oh, never mind. Look, if you like blowing up a bunch of things with spaceships, you'll like Raiden 4. Pick it up. Buy it so that they make more of them. <laughs> 